Hi, I'm from MRM IT Solutions team. Thank you for sharing and liking our videos. Please keep on liking, sharing, and please don't forget to subscribe. How does a fire start? Fire start when a flammable or a combustible material in combination with a sufficient quantity of an oxidizer such as oxygen gas or another oxygen-rich compound, though non-oxygen oxidizer exists, is exposed to a source of heat or ambient temperature above the flash point for the fuel or oxidizer. Main cause of death in fire The majority of fire-related deaths are caused by smoke inhalation of the toxic gases produced by fires, Actual flames and burns only account for about 30% of fire. How do you detect a fire? Fire detectors sense one or more of the products are phenomena resulting from fire, such as smoke heat, infrared and or the ultraviolet radiation, or gas in dwellings. Smoke detectors are often standalone devices. Fire alarm system Warns people when smoke fire, carbon monoxide, or other fire-related emergencies are detected. These alarms may be activated automatically from smoke detectors, and heat detectors or may also be activated via manual fire alarm activation devices, such as manual call points or pool stations. What is a fire alarm called? Fire alarm is an electronic sounder or a bell. The alarm makes a loud, high-pitched sound to notify people that there is a fire in the building. The sounders can be programmed to sound different tones. What is the purpose of fire alarm system? False alarm aside, fire alarm systems are installed primarily for life safety. We need smoke detectors to meet that early warning life safety goal. How does a fire alarm work? A photoelectric smoke detector uses an infrared LED light beam to tell if there is smoke in the air. Over time, the sensor emits the lights through the optical detector's chamber. If the light detects numerous smoke particles passing through it, then an alarm is triggered. Why are fire alarms so important? A smoke alarm is critical for the early detection of a fire in your home and could mean the difference between life and death. Fires can occur in a variety of ways and in any room of your home. But, no matter where or how, having a smoke alarm is the first key to step forward for your family's safety. Are fire alarms effective? The presence of a working smoke alarm in a home reduces the risk of dying in a fire by 50%. Approximately 890 lives could be saved annually if all homes had working smoke alarm. Two types of fire alarm. Generally, there are two types of home smoke alarm, the most commonly recognized smoke detection technologies. Ionization smoke alarm are generally more responsive to flaming fires. How they work? Ionization type smoke alarms have a small amount of radioactive material between two electrically charged plates, which ionize the air and cause current to flow between the plates. When smoke enters the chamber, it disrupts the flow of ions, thus reducing the flows of current and activating the alarm. Photoelectric are generally more responsive to fires that begin with a long period of smoldering, called smoldering fires. How they work Photoelectric type alarms aim a light source in a sensing chamber at an angle away from the sensor. Smoke enters the chamber, reflecting light into the light sensor. 
triggering the alarm. MRM IT Solution, your best IT solution provider. Goodbye! Thank you for watching!